Okay, I want to go over how to do your warm-up assignments. And so what you're going to do is you're going to find a photograph that takes up pretty much the entire page of the magazine. Or if you're looking in your workbook, there's a few uh, images like that in the back of the workbook that have a, a full room. And so you want to also try to find something that's not too complex. So notice we just have a bed and two nightstands here. What you don't want to do is find a small inset photo like these. They are going to be too small for the um, exercise we're doing. You want to find a photo that you can use um, twice. So the first time you're going to do this, you're just going to sketch it practicing using your three line weights. So you're going to take your fine liner pen <clears throat> and where you see a soft edge, you're going to try to, so for example, oh, that pen's not working. I'm just going to use this pen. But. Um, you're going to use a soft pressure to create, let's say, the, the contour of the pillows here. So again, just I'm trying to let the line Notice how I'm letting the lines get kind of soft and dissolved too, so that they're reflecting this light, soft texture of the white pillows. Okay, then I want to look at overlap and alignment so I can see that this lampshade is coming in right here above the pillow. I notice I can just sort of rough things out too, because we're going to be doing this in two layers, but. For this first warm up, you can keep things kind of loose. Uh, I'm going to again notice over on this side this lampshade. So again, if I have multiple lines like that, lines like that, that's okay. Just trying to get a feel for the different shapes of things in the placements. So I'm just trying my best to get the headboard back here. Just notice where one thing's overlapping another and just lightly sketching my line weights. Put this vase of flowers over here. It's nice to have that by your bed. trying to use my full arm movement. Again, it's just a loose sketch. I'm not going to use any shading or hatching at this point. We're going to start working with the markers starting this week, but for now we're just going to focus on line qualities and weights at the moment. Okay, so I've got the edge of the bed coming in here. And again, I'm trying to reflect the quality, so I'm going to curve the line here. Make this line firmer. Okay. So I could also use a light line weight to create this kind of grid pattern I'm seeing in the duvet cover. Okay, now I'm going to look at some of the elements in the background. So notice how I'm building it back from the foreground elements to the background. Instead of drawing the wall line first, that way I can see how what the wall line relates to what's in the foreground. So I have this corner of the room right in here that I'm bringing into the mix. And I can see that that was coming up from behind the nightstand. So I'm going to create this wall line. Okay, and then I can see I have this piece of art here above the bed. Oops. 
And then I'm just going to abstract out the art. I don't have to draw it in great detail. We've got some rounded forms in it. I'm going to just abstract. Okay, then I can see I have those reveals in the wall, those vertical lines that are coming down. Over here. Okay, so now what I want to do, I've got some carpet in here, is go back in with my sign pin and start to adjust things. So notice I can see that my lamp is tilting off vertical. I'm going to leave that for now, but I'll show you what's going to happen on our next sketch that we do. So on this first sketch, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce where I see those undersides or shadow side elements. So like where the duvet cover overlaps, or where the bed overlaps the floor, or where the pillow sits on the sheet here that's going to help me get a sense that these things are anchored in the room like the underside of the painting here or maybe the back of the headboard up against the wall okay so <clears throat> that's your last step is just to add that reinforcing line so that's just a basic warm-up later we're going to be adding uh, marker color and so forth to it but now you're going to take the very same photo and do some sight lines to help you draw this more accurately. So you're going to take your photo with a straight edge, use your sign pen to draw a vertical line down the center of the paper. And then I'm going to draw two more lines, one through the middle here, one horizontal in the middle. Oops. I shouldn't be drawing against my scale either, so <laughs> the design gods are getting me for <laughs> drawing against my scale. Ah, like that. Okay, so let's, so I would recommend using a triangle if you have one handy, which would be better than the scale, but I forgot to bring my triangle over here, so I'm just using my scale. So see how where the, the ceiling has that angle for perspective? I drew a horizontal across that spot drawing a horizontal across the middle, and I'm going to draw one more down here at the bottom. So it's different than gritting it out. I'm just drawing three sight lines. The reason we call them sight lines is they're going to help you see more clearly. Based on our lecture tonight, maybe that'll make sense. Um, you'll know what I mean. So now I'm going to take a piece of flimsy. And I'm going to draw those three or four lines actually. So I'm going to draw my vertical by just tracing the same configuration that they have on the paper. So sometimes you might, it might be helpful to draw where the image starts and stops, pick a little mark there. I'm going to draw a horizontal across. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't tape it down though, I'll tell you why in a second, but I'm just squirrely today. So anyway, I'm going to draw the same lines. Okay, so now I've got to make those marks again where the image starts and stops. Now I want to pull my drawing, my photo out from the paper. So I've got the lines on the paper and the lines on the photo reflecting each other. So I think it's helpful to bring it up so that the photo's right above and you're lining up that vertical line. And now you're going to do your next sketch. Okay, so now that you've drawn your vertical line, your horizontal lines and that are reflecting the same ones you drew on the photo, notice I used the sign pin again so that you can see the lines clearly instead of the fine liner pen where the lines might look too faint. Okay, so I'm going to line those up and I'm going to do that warm-up sketch again now using those sight lines to help guide me. So you might just see like where does, does this line fall above or below that sight line. So again, I'm going to start in the foreground and I'm going to draw this angle first the nightstand, which 
is falling here just above the, um, the sight line. Then I can see the headboards coming up right behind that. And then I've got the headboard coming across. Now another way you can do it is sight your angle like this. This is how I usually do it. You bring the Line up your pin with the top of the headboard and bring it down and that's going to be your angle. Okay? Or if you, and this is your first layer again, so you can be a little loose with it. Notice if I put a vertical here, then I can use that to figure out the shape of the lamp that I want. So in other words, I can sculpt it around these sight lines. So I think of that vertical here, and here's these two. It's going to help me get this shape more be more accurate. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to continue to lay in these lines. Based on the photo and what you're seeing. So again, I'm trying to reflect a softer feel of line weight with the light pressure on the pen or the pillows. And a little heavier line weight, maybe where it comes down to where the pillow overlaps the bed. see that board's going to end right here. Then I've got the uh, lampshade coming in here. Is that vertical to help me get the shape accurate? And then I'm going to use another sight line here for the shape of the base. here on the table, but no, we'll get the edge of the nightstand to come out. And if I'm not sure of the angle, I can come here and bring it down. Okay, and I'm coming back over to this side. Bringing that leg of the nightstand down. Got the drawer here. The back of it. Okay, then I have the shelf down here with this stack of books. And then you can see the bottom of the bed here. It's all going to be darker. That's the side of the nightstand. And I got the bottom of the bed coming off this way. And I've got this other coverlet, a blanket <laughs> draping over. Again, so I'm just using that light pressure. And then you can see those curves here, the contouring of the duvet cover, creating that grid pattern. And I'm just going to let that kind of get a little more broken up on the top. So it reads like it's further away. Okay, now I want to look at some of the other aspects of the design. So I'm going to bring in this corner line again by looking at how it relates to the lamp. So you can see it's coming right up here from the nightstand, then hitting that sight line. Again, if you're not clear about the angle, bring your pin down and go, okay, it's angling off this way. It's angling off this way. With the top of the ceiling, where the wall and the ceiling meet. 
Okay. Now I'm going to add in my painting by looking again. Where does the painting start and stop? I can see the back of the painting is coming up here from behind the lamp. And it stops here just short of the other further lamp. So I'm going to bring... And it stops right here on the sight line. Then again, it's going to angle this direction. Okay, so just trying to lay in some of the detail here on the artwork. some of these circles. I don't have it exactly right, that's okay. On a quick sketch, again, we're just trying to get the idea of the space. So you can use some of your own creativity to modify and create how you want. But it should look like the space. Okay, so now we have just the reveals to add in. So I'm going to add a vertical line here, another vertical line here. I'm help me with my spacing. And one's coming in here, down behind the nightstand. Okay, and then I have one more over here, coming up next to the nightstand on the far side. Okay, so now what I want to do is go in with my reinforcing line. Our next subsequent classes, we're going to be <clears throat> taking this as our first layer, and then we'll overlay it, and we'll clean it up without the sight lines, and really work in the line weights and add some marker rendering. But for this first one, we're just going to enhance it with the sight lines. So what I mean by enhance it is I'm going to go ahead and now take my sign pen and add in some heavier line weights in a few spots, where one thing overlaps another. I don't want to go too crazy with the reinforcing line because then that's going to uh, be counterproductive. It's going to make it look like everything's the same weight again. So I'm trying to have a variation of line weight, not where everything looks the same. So again, places you might reinforce are the base of the lamps or the underside curve here, the base of the base, the bottom of the shelf. This back line that's up against the wall. Just to kind of give that some rounding. And maybe the bottom of the bed itself. And where the headboard overlaps the wall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reinforce the top of the headboard too. Alright, so that's your first warm up. Again, you're going to try, try it once without the sight lines and once with the sight lines. So now let's compare the two. Notice how when I wasn't using the sight lines, my angles got off. So this was popping too much. Notice how the bed got stretched. Notice how the lamp tilted off vertical. That's my left brain trying to take over the process. This line popped up instead of flattening out. So um, these lines were pretty good, but they were needed to be angled a little bit more. So notice on this one, I've got the bed looking flatter the angles on the ceiling are correct, the lamp staying vertical. So these sight lines should increase the accuracy in your drawing. Okay, so that's your warm up for this week.